Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Tough Questions with Zafar and Alsu. Let me introduce our first guest, teacher of ICT, Computer Technologies, Mr. Salim. You may also know him as the mentor of the Intellectual Games Club, and we have him as well. I am actually one of the participants. So we want to ask some questions which are about computing science and also intellectual games. And our first question for today is going to be, how did you actually become interested in both of these subjects? And is there any background stories for those? All uh, right. Hello, everybody, guys. Uh, actually, you know, when I started at school, I tried to succeed in all subjects. But the point was that, you know, when I finished school, I, I, I need to finish school. Everybody needs to finish school, yeah, you know, just uh, and by that moment, I should make some choice. I should make some choice for my future and decided why it's not to be math because I'm interested in math. I was interested in solving some difficult questions. But also I knew that computer science is the future. And that's why I've uh, had, you know, just chance to enter to the applied math faculty. And here we had both studied math and computer science. And that's why, that's the brief story of it. Okay, okay can I uh, ask one interesting thing? So nowadays computer science IT is a little bit more divided from math fully. So what do you prefer more, math? calculations or ICT because now we know you as an ICT teacher but I also know that sometimes you was a teacher of math so why actually you know both subjects they are you know just applicable and related to each other you know just without knowledge of math it's difficult you know just to write some algorithmics in computer science when you're coding some stuff yep but if you ask me which of them I prefer, you know, both of them are actually, okay, it will be boring answer maybe that both of them are, you know, just very interesting, but reality is it, you know, just classical math is more about getting over something difficult, you know, just because sometimes people say, oh, we're suffering math, but when they get the correct answer after all this pass, they're happy. Mm -hmm. Computer science, it has a lot of interesting stuff to do. You know, just maybe in some reasons there may be easier, you know, just, but we have applies of computer science almost everywhere else. That's true. Oh. That's why each of them has their beauties and uh, the answer will be like both of them have, you know, just specific, so it's specific equal. benefits. Equal. Yep, for me it's... Okay. So you answered our question for computing science, but how did you become interested in intellectual games? Because I've heard that you actually participated in some competitions. And, uh, yeah. and still actually I am, because uh, several weeks ago my team participated in one uh, you know, international tournament again. Mm -hmm. After two years and a half of pass, yeah. pause that we have because of COVID, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. yep. Actually the story is that I, uh, you know, from childhood I just watched some intellectual shows on TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and I thought, okay, it's so interesting. They're trying to answer these questions, but I cannot answer any of them. Basically, you know, just but That's six sure. people, yeah, yeah sure. six people around the table can do this. Uh, I wish I could do such stuff in future. Mm -hmm. At the first year of university, uh, my group mates, you know, just we, we just uh, uh, you know just uh, came along, like newcomers yeah. to university, and she told that actually, okay, I'm I'm playing already. We have some cl we have some clubs, some place to, to have such game. Why don't you join? I say, okay, I have no team. And I had one day to gather one team, you know, just with the nearest people who was nearby me. I just go, do you want to go? How many people should be in team? Uh, max, in classic intellectual games, six people. Six like people. six so people. You mean six people. Uh, or including me, five, five people. people. Uh, mass. You see, mass is applicable <laughs> here also. So the point was that actually I, I could find only four, all right? But it was enough. Five people was enough. Okay. So we decided one day to go and play, but we were a little bit nervous. That's why we decided to participate. In competition of you know just schools um, but we were already at the first yeah. year of university it was a little bit funny because uh, uh, we won that game but it was tough you know just oh. we, we, we won with uh, great you know just we put a lot of effort there and all teams watched us that we were cheaters because we're at university again yeah. but we just we just wanted to check ourselves guys you know okay. just uh, only business and no, nothing else the next time we participate in our first adult game 
and you know it was successful but we was shocked including me that we saw all that people who, who were on tv they were sitting and playing so you, uh -huh. against so your us child dream came true. Yep, yep i can say so and we were very excited about that and that's how approximately 12 years ago we started such uh, and still continuing, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And now you have your own team, 42, I think. Yeah, you know, we had with our group mates, our teammates, actually, a team name is called Falcon, all right? Intellectual Games Club has an uh, opportunity to hear that information, yeah. how we created this. Uh, the point was that, yeah, with our teammates, we decided to make some project, social project, to make the Intellectual Games, you know, just more widely spread among the people and we created such club uh, yep unfortunately it's like basically basically it's inactive like that club because we have uh, not so much time to write questions to organize games but each of us all right we, we work in different places and we try to bring some part of club 42 to that place where we're working or living okay. and there was a uh, intellectual games just yesterday right intellectual games so yeah. Uh, have you also prepared the questions there? So your team was playing there? Yes, yes. I No, I prepared just questions. Uh, oh. You mean which which tournament exactly? Sorry? Which tournament? Uh, in, in ADA school, yes, you mean? ADA, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Actually, yeah, you know, just uh, actually prepared by me, but we also use some our um, secret database of questions, okay, all right? Sure. And nobody knows about it. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. But I was wondering if you would like to organize any events in ADA as well about like uh, intellectual games or anything? Uh, for sure. So uh, yesterday you did one of them, but... Now uh, I have honor to mentorship, to have the mentorship of clubs in, at school, yeah. but I also want to communicate with the university club. Oh, okay. It will be interesting yeah. to collaborate in the mm. nearest future and maybe we can uh, bring something, you know, just more you know just global and even uh, if we can for example do some tournament for other schools in Baku because you know uh, yep uh, I had such principles that if nobody organizes such stuff I I want to have such stuff in Baku why right. don't I organize this yes. all right let's do it by ourselves of course okay of course. That's okay good. I also heard that you were in other countries participating for other tournaments, competitions? Yep, we had international ones. Yeah, so. uh, actually, the geography was, will, will be not so rich as you can imagine. It was uh, uh -huh. Georgia and DOT. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we, uh, ha we, we were happy to have a World Cup in Baku. That's Ooh. why we were ready to go somewhere else. But they told that that year it will be in Baku. Uh -huh. We were still happy. Like yeah. our World Cup will be in Baku. Azerbaijan, by the way, put a lot of you know just uh, long to you know just dedicated a lot yeah. to this intellectual uh -huh. world because what we have organized four, if I'm not mistaken, World Cups in Baku. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this was the first part of our interview. Now, dear viewers, I want to introduce you the your question that you wanted us... Yeah, you haven't told me this. No? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes, so this is our feature of our interview. We, uh, each interview, okay. you'll be like, we'll make an announcement about this um, Google form where you can write every question that you want to ask to our next guest. So I also informed you yesterday. Uh, so here are some six questions that you just wanted to ask, are you ready? Because I've seen these questions, they're Yay. really tough. Let's, let's do this. So, first question, let me see. Okay, what was the special reason for choosing an ADA school as a job? For a okay, job. Okay, that's a... A mature question for sure, solid question. Uh, the point was that actually I will share one, you know, I will, say, I will share one uh, secret of mine. Okay. Uh, if I had chance to start at ADA University those times, I would like perfect, I would like to choose it. Unfortunately, when I entered, there was no backward degree yet there. That's why, you know, just I already started. Uh, but again, I, I'm not regretting anything else. Uh, but the point is that, yes, I was always keen to relate my uh, career or my education or some other project with ADA because I have a lot of inputs about this place. I know the atmosphere is perfect, 
you know that the atmosphere is perfect yeah and actually it was really interesting and when i had such chance i wasn't expecting that it would be sometimes in covid times you know just <laughs> I, i would prepare for it but i was so happy to join and of course i think that that is exactly one of the best social places to work to communicate like and without any doubts okay then next question is okay let's see what it is Ready? All questions are like this. It's okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So why Karma. you didn't stay in Russia? And for example, why didn't you work for a big company such as Kaspersky? Kaspersky. Okay, interesting well, question. Interesting. I don't know who wrote it, but there. Okay. Why I haven't stayed in Russia? But Have you? why should I stay in Russia? Uh, actually, uh, I think uh, you you studied in Moscow State. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's not a secret. I studied in Moscow State University, Baku branch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's though, though it's Moscow State University, the Baku branch situates in beautiful Hojasan, you know, just, uh, okay. you know, hills, uh, that's why, you know, just, yeah. So I had no reason to stay anywhere else, and I don't have no plans to stay anywhere okay. else but in Azerbaijan. Uh, what about the second part of the question? But actually, you know, maybe uh, if to be, like, basically honest like yes if you have chance to work in such corporations it's cool yeah. but uh, actually i never thought about such stuff like mm, i used the product of kaspers antivirus it was cool yeah you know just uh, but basically yes you know just i haven't thought about that because firstly i thought about my education about mass about mm. classical stuff yeah. I, i i tried to you know just experiment a lot But okay. Kaspersky, good idea. I will think about it. But why don't you hack the school if you can? Can you? Can you? No, hack let's. The can you? Let's. Straightforward. Why don't you hack? It's related to our last, uh, you know, just lessons. Yeah. In yes. Why? Yeah. Um. Okay, guys. Uh, if I will ask this, uh, if I answer this question, I will be fired. Yeah, maybe that, <laughs> that's why I, you know, just. Uh, okay, well, guys, just attention to the questions, no that such of questions, please. But still, interesting one, yes. <laughs> Next one. Good one. Ooh, this is a really good one. Okay. If you had a chance to join Apple, would you join it? Apple. Silicon, okay. Apple yeah, Silicon. like Would the you? Silicon Valley. Uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, joining Apple, yeah, I actually. Uh, I think it's a dream come true. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're having this, you know, just the next one, yeah. Kaspersky, Kaspersky Apple, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, go yeah. to NASA, SpaceX, and etc. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, basically, you know, um, I think that, yes, again, it's related to your needs and aims and goals just you know just uh if you see yourself uh see your your development all right uh that, and you can relate it link it up to such places like apple it will be very cool uh like uh i actually feel myself now more about educational part of it yeah That's why, so for me now, uh, like uh, computer true. science is computer science for sure, but more about educating it. Like if Apple have some schools of education, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm, it would like, be a really good opportunity. Again, the same like with Kaspersky. Yeah. I can't think about it, but like, again, as I told you, it's about your feeling about, you know, just what do you do in future? Mm. Okay. Okay. And why they specify like Apple, not Microsoft? Question, but anyways, these Mac users, you know, yeah, Apple. But still, I'm not doing like that. Okay, mm, can you? Oh, interesting. Can you prevent virus attacks? Can you prevent virus attacks? That's following up the lesson you had. Okay. Okay. Well, I think this my class, right? Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, I was. It's not a secret. I told that well, I was a victim of virus attacks long before yes. yeah long before uh, you know just even at, s at school of course said even I four months ago you was like that from 2018 yeah, yeah there was some but you know when i now i see that males and of course i understand how it is but uh, basically when i say prevent yes that is the best word that fits best you know just prevent you should do first of all you should build that barriers and security shields 
as we were discussing in our lessons to prevent it but when you're in the process of attacking it should not look like in movies you know that action movie that it's two hackers are sitting yes. and you know battling each other it's yeah more uh, yes, it's more uh, to be honest maybe that person would be more proficient than me because he dedicated who is life to attacking somebody that's why I don't I will not say for sure that I will at that moment prevent it but I prefer to build at first the shield to be secure and to live like that okay. Experience. <laughs> I'd advise all of you to do the same thing so our last question is what was the most interesting thing that you did while learning computing science okay that's any like projects you made or oh interesting uh, when I started when I learned it yep uh, the question is that yes while learning yes uh, actually on the faculty of uh, applied maths uh, that mm -hmm. I took course in Moscow State uh, we have mainly programming yep, yep because uh, you know just all other information from all other you know spheres of computer science I gained you know by myself next but basically about programming uh, actually first it started uh, like suddenly was just solving math questions and after some time we saw that we got bored yeah. Uh, yeah because you know mass we have everything mass and here also mass but actually no there was some interesting stories uh, like for example we learned about how to put a fork bomb into code and when you you know just uh, you know what's fork bomb how it works <laughs> it's like some stuff you make specific uh, line in some code of some program yeah. uh, especially you know just on Linux for example yeah. operation okay. system when you run this program uh, everything will, 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 oh, will be okay. vanishing, wow. and that's why that was interesting. We tried to, you know, just fork have a uh, fork bomb. Yes, it has some, you know, I can go to lesson now, but uh, you know, just <laughs> what is it? But actually, the point was that we have some, you know, just uh, jokes with each other. And we wanted to say, I wrote your program, do you want to check it? No, definitely no, I don't want to check it. Yeah, it's just that, that was the reason. That. And a lot of more different, actually, stories. Uh, then we, uh, one of them, uh, some of them I just uh, also recently told in our classes about testing, uh, you know, just some uh, keylogger stuff in libraries, public libraries, yeah. It was really interesting because we understand that we wanted to deliver a message to all students of university that you should be secure and don't uh, leave the computer in public place before logging out. Yeah. Great. And the story so. about library, like how? Yeah, 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 exactly. Great. Okay. I think I'm missing out on something over here. <laughs> okay. Well, something. Um, so I think that no, I, 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 I suppose there was six questions, but. Okay, what is <laughs> the, okay let can you guess this question what would be asked to the ICT teacher do you want some hint there are many. why ICT you know but it's it's quite ordinary question it's actually do, related to something I said before yeah okay. uh, do you want a hint okay okay so. what is where are a lot of problems and errors are curious and with what it can be compared? A lot of problems. Uh, actually, in any, I don't know, application that uh, near, does near, not work properly. It's, it's more than application. It's maybe something that runs this application. Runs this application. Okay, you mean something global, more than application. Yeah. yeah. Operation system. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, what, what our problem? question is, okay. Windows or oh Apple? Yes, oh my gosh, Windows or Apple? Windows or uh, Apple? What? Great, I, I like that. I also yeah. wanted to learn that. Mm, actually, the toughest question that I had today. Uh, to, uh, back, actually, you know, um, if I will choose or if I will recommend that two different stuff. For example, if I will recommend, all right, I will recommend the operation system, all right, that uh, fits you, you know, just from the point how it looks like, the interface and stuff like that, if that person does not interested deeply in it. Great. Yeah, I know that you have some yeah, influence on yeah. 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 sure. that as well. <laughs> Most uh, simple one. The point is that uh, personally I use Windows. Ah. <clears throat> uh, I will explain why. I, I respect Mac OS, for sure. I respect it, you know, just it works like perfect and no any problem occurs with it. 
But you know, once our also instructed university told that Microsoft is for uh, you know just children of kindergarten level and when we heard this we were offended a little bit uh, but actually it was such a trick to make us uh, learn linux operation system and stuff like that basically you know just nowadays uh, everything about you know what you prefer must maybe you fond of this apple yeah. like how it looks like yeah apple it's brand it's cool like Microsoft, yep, yeah, errors, 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 mm -hmm. but at the same time, Microsoft also widely spread. That's why, yes, maybe that will be the only question that I cannot still give you the final answer because it's difficult. But, but yes, I, I use Microsoft, is the question at this yes, operate. And once I used Linux, Linux operation system. Also. Why they didn't give you Linux? Okay, it's a different story. Okay, thank you very much for your answers, thank you. guys. I hope you're also satisfied with the answers to your questions and would again admit that every time that we will have a guest, you and only you can just ask any question that you want for our next guest. So, and a repeat question about Microsoft Apple there also. Yes, repeat that. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching us. Thank you, thank you for inviting thank you us. Thank you too. Yeah, watching, for participating in this as well. It was as well as you as Okay, us. so wait for the next interview. Have a good day. Goodbye.